Hey yo jelly beans, it's Jam here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a squishy makeover. Yay! So to start, here's one of my jumbo squishies, and her name is Penelope. And Penelope has decided that she would like to have a makeover because she's been under a lot of stress. And she went with the all day spa special. This starts off by letting the client soak in a nice soapy bubble bath. And then this is followed up by a little rinse off. Got to make sure to get all the dirt and grime off. And then also a little facial massage. All that stress that builds up for these poor little squishies. And got to make sure to get her ears nice and scrubbed. Look at just how filthy that water is. Okay, after that, we're going to dry her off with a nice little paper towel. Got to make sure to get all of that excess water off and the little crumbs. This will help when we move into the next step. And that's going to let her relax completely. Knowing that she's nice and clean, we'll tuck her in. And this will just give her a moment to relax, sleep, and reflect on the day. And I feel so bad I ended up running out of cucumber slices, so I had to improvise and use these kiwi slices. But she actually liked that a lot. Here you go. Here's what she looks like all nice and tucked in. Sleep well, little one. Okay, after that, we're going to brush her with a nice little powder of starch. This is cornstarch. And the client was very happy with this. This helped make her feel nice and dry without feeling cakey. And then to clean off some of the excess starch, we just gave her a little um, snap massage. And now time for her makeup. One of you lovely subscribers, one of my jelly beans, ended up telling me that using slick paint might actually be a better idea for the squishies. And so I'm going to be trying that with this one. And if it works well, I'll be using it on my future squishy makeovers. So thank you so much for that, Jelly Beans. You guys are amazing. I did end up using my little round tool for this. I don't really have a brush that works that well on Squishy, so I just used my round tool. And I did have to use some satin acrylic paint for these little eye sparkles. And that's only because my slick white paint ended up running out. And then to give her some color to her cheeks, went in with a chalk pastel. And this was rose colored. And this is perfect for squishies because the pastel is extremely pigmented. So it ends up absorbing really nicely and giving her those cute little red rosy cheeks. All right. And of course, each client that comes here gets a nice little accessory. For Penelope, we went with this polka dot pink bow. I hope that she really likes her stay here. We loved having her as a client. She was so well behaved through the whole process. Got to clip up these edges, make sure it looks nice. And there you go, there's little Penelope. What do you guys think? Do you like makeovers like this? I know I do, it was a really fun time and I think that she looks great and fresh. She's very excited. <laughs> there's a side angle so you can see her from the distance. And there we go. If you liked this video and wanna see more, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Bye Jelly Beans. Which squishy would you like to see me do next for the Jumbo Squishies? Comment down below.